um, look at that, two dice trunks right next to each other. I really appreciate nitrogen and the fact that we can, you know, bring those types of cities back and even and make them even more massive than they were, you know, uh, in, in the earlier versions of the game. This really is, in comparison, you know, to Vanilla, this really is a mega city. I mean, this place is huge. Look at all the skyscrapers that are around. So cool. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. I'm an old guy gaming, and this is uh, the Wasteland Survival Series, where we play this game on the same difficulties. I'm Zero Set the Nightmare Speed. We play on a map that is almost entirely made up of wasteland generated by the Nitrogen World Generator. And I'm back. That's right. <laughs> so uh, I have been um, actually out of the game um, and haven't recorded an episode for almost a month. Actually, probably a little bit over a month now that I think about it. Um, so for you guys... Um, you just, uh, you've just had a couple of days, uh, off. I, the last episode, I think it was episode 42 came out on Thursday. It is now uh, March 29th. Uh, but for me, it's been, it's literally been a month or maybe even a little bit more, um, since I recorded the last episode. So, uh, if you didn't already know this, I do record, uh, my episodes a lot, uh, very often I record them in advance. Uh, and I happened to actually, you know, I was having so much fun, uh, with this series that I actually got like a whole month ahead of you guys. And then I actually had to leave uh, town to, and to go to Rhode Island on a business trip. This was, you know, this was over a month ago now, remember. And um, and then when I got back from that trip, you know, I still had, you know, several more episodes pre-recorded and scheduled. So I just kind of took a break from Seven Days to Die and haven't played it since that time. I haven't even played the game at all uh, since that time. So it has been a little over a month for me since I played last. So I'm probably going to be a little bit rusty, you know, trying to get back into things. But we are ready to... Uh, pick up the series and continue on with it now um, a couple things i need to get uh, you guys caught up with so the first thing is that um let's see what do i want to start with <laughs> okay well let, let's talk about the game so we we um in the last episode we left off and i had mentioned in that episode because i just watched it earlier today or at least part of it to kind of you know get myself caught up and so in the last episode i believe it was this uh this little hill here that i left you guys on so we had gone to this little barn here uh what little barn we'd gone to this barn here and we had um uh we looted the silo right and then and then we we went up to this hill and we took a look around this little valley here to see if we could spot uh, the green vine which of course we did not and then when i left you in that episode i mentioned that i was going to spend a little bit of off camera time continuing to search um, and so that's what I did. So basically I went from, you know, this hill, we kind of crossed over here. I went, I believe I went over this way and, uh, right in this area was uh, a drop that had, uh, you know, had landed when we were over this direction and I did find that drop. I honestly don't remember what was in it though. I just remember that I did find it. And then we kind of worked our way uh, through this little, uh, valley here and kind of mountain biked up onto this road and then we followed this road which is goes kind of along a ridge here all the way over to this POI that we're currently in here and so I went ahead and looted uh, this POI and then um, but it got it you know it, it 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 turned night so basically I didn't want to go anywhere further until daytime and so we're basically just kind of hunkering down uh, in this POI uh, until morning and then when morning comes we'll hop on the bike and we'll continue on so the plan is going to be that we will we're going to continue working our way west so we've basically covered um all of the north uh, the northwest the north the northeast the east and the southeast and we're in the southeast part of the map right now so this is you know the end of the map here and um so we're, we're going to continue to work our way west continue searching for the green biome uh, and or the mega city until we find him and you know logic would dictate to us of course that we are going to find that um you know either in the south or the west because you know we've already pretty much covered all these other territories and even these places you know that are not uncovered i was i've more or less was able to look out over into these areas and did not spot um you know the green biome or the mega city uh so that's pretty much where we're at so we're going to wait until morning and then we're going to continue on our search for those places now uh, if you're watching me for the first time this uh this map is generated by the nitrogen world generator as i mentioned before um but when we made the world uh, we did place a uh, a single mega city 
um, on the map somewhere. And there's also supposed to be a very small green bomb. And when uh, I had somebody else, uh, a friend of mine, Terry Beer, generate the map for me, and I told him not to tell me where those places were. And also, he didn't send me the, you know, the pre-gen or the preview files either. So I didn't, you know, normally with Nitrogen, you can actually have it generate a map uh, for you, and you could actually look at it in advance. But I told him not to do that because I wanted to, you know, as a part of this series, I wanted to, to, to look for those places and find them. And, you know, we are 42. This is episode 43, I believe, into this, and we still have not found uh, the Green Biome or the Mega City. But we've got to be getting close to it. Because, like I said, I mean, you know, it, it's got to be uh, off to the west because the, where else could it be, right? And so, you know, that's pretty much where we're at. So we've covered uh, th this little town here. We have uh, we've basically have a base. We set up a base in the prison in this town here and, and spent a lot of time, you know, in the town getting leveled up and, and geared up and that sort of thing. And then, you know, we, we've gone on several road trips, you know, trying to find this place. And uh, we just have not had any luck finding it yet. But we are bound to find it sooner or later, probably sooner now, because there's only, you know, just the south and southwest part of the map left, uh, you know, that it could possibly be in. So that's kind of pretty much what we're about. And, you know, the idea is that we find the green biome, and we're going to move there, uh, set up shop. Uh, we do have a trader there, too. It's the only trader that's on the entire map is in the green biome. And, you know, get leveled up the rest of the way or most of the rest of the way. Get geared up really good. And then we're going to leave the green biome and go back out into the wasteland uh, to the mega city. And we're going to start, you know, looting the mega city in the end game. And it's going to, of course, be really dangerous there because it is it is a city. But it's also going to have, you know, the best buildings and the best loot. And the mega cities in the nitrogen generated worlds are huge they're way way bigger than anything you'll 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 see in vanilla uh, which is really cool so um that's pretty much where we are guys uh in terms of what's going on in the game as far as what's going on in, in real life um as you guys probably know <laughs> um we are dealing in the whole entire world world we're dealing with this damn coronavirus and it's uh you know it's definitely got me and my wife um you know, sequestered at home as it does most other people that aren't, you know, that aren't performing critical, uh, you know, functions for uh, for society and all that. And it's just kind of a scary time. It really is. I've uh, I've had actually two people I know in real life um, from work that have passed on because of this coronavirus. So it's it's kind of kind of a, a a scary time right now. So I just hope you know all of you guys who are watching are are safe and and doing okay, and you know that we all get through this. Uh, okay, now another thing uh, in real life that's going on that's got me really frustrated is that I I actually lost my mixer board. I've got a you know I've got a pretty nice mixer board and it uh, it just totally went tits up on me. It, you know it it doesn't work. It's it's dead. And so you know and I'm I'm doubly pissed about it because this is the second time this has happened to me with this board. And the board doesn't even do anything. It just sits in my office. It it never moves anywhere. It doesn't travel. It doesn't you know endure. Uh, you know, the, the rigors of, like, you know, the board's designed to do, like playing in a band and that sort of thing. Um, and so I just don't get it. I'm, I'm just really pissed off about it. And so, needless to say, I've had to kind of redo my sound configuration, and I haven't been able to get stuff to work correctly. OBS and Windows haven't been cooperating. <laughs> it's just been kind of a, a frustrating day. I was planning on actually recording, um, you know, a few of these episodes today. It's today is Sunday. It's Sunday evening now. Um you know, and get those ready, but uh, this is actually the first episode I've managed to actually uh, record, which I'm planning on releasing tomorrow on Monday, and then, you know, we'll just have to, have to uh, you know, get more episodes recorded as we can. But yeah, I've just been kind of fighting that, so it's been a bit of a frustrating day. Uh, but anyway, you know, that's pretty much all that's going on in, in real life right now. Okay, so, yeah, so just remember, you know, as we play this, that it has been a month uh, for me since I played, so I'm going to probably be a little bit rusty. But we'll get our head back in the game and continue, you know, looking for that green biome and looking for the uh, mega city. So uh, what I'm going to do is just wait out the rest of the night. It's 2.20, so it won't be too much longer. And then, you know, when morning hits, we will take off um, and go head west and continue looking for that green biome. There's a look at that buzzer outside. Okay, guys, so I'll see you in the morning. Don't go away. Okay, guys, it is morning. And we uh, passed an uneventful night, so let's go ahead and get the hell out of here.
did have a couple zekers walking around out there, but uh, nothing, nothing serious. Got Cowboy Bob and Hawaii Five O. So yeah, our plan is going to be that uh, we're going to probably um, hmm, do we want to bail off this mountain and go through here? That could be kind of rugged. I think maybe what we'll do is we'll go back along the road and see if we can find some place you know to bail off to the west uh, that way. Okay, let's do this. Um, where the hell is the road? Is this it here? Oh yeah, this is it here. Okay. Buzzards already. Buzzards in the morning. Alright. Let's just leave Hawaii 5 alone. We could actually maybe go down that way. This guy's being a pain in the ass. Here, I want to go back up and, and kind of look off that way, so... We need to get him out of the way. Hmm, I thought I heard a dog. Okay, yeah, let's go back up here uh, and take a peek. Okay, yeah, that's going to the south, but then it looks like we could probably get around that mountain and head west. I'm thinking. So we never... Yeah, see, that's more going this way, though. We need to go this way. But I think it does... It looks like it probably does wrap around. Hmm, I don't know. I'm thinking maybe... We go down by that lake and then out through that way, because that's the more the direction we... Oh, shit. We actually need to go. So let's do that. Let's get turn around here. Okay, so we'll head back down this little ridge road. Hey, didn't we just kill you? It must be his brother or something. And let's just bail right off this way. Woo, look at that. Okay. We'll work our way around this lake here. I'm not going to loot anything. I am so full right now. Because, um... You know, we died in... Uh... Episode 40, I think it was? 41, something like that? And so I had to, I had to come all the way back with a, a whole nother set of gear. So I am just packed to the max right now with stuff. So we're pretty much not... You know, gonna loot to speak of for now. <laughs> we just got too much stuff. That's all there is to it. Alright, so we'll just keep working our way west. Going this way. Um, we should probably try and get. Oh, you stupid buzzard. Come here. Another one? Hey, we got a level. Anybody else? All right, um, let's see. We have some pain pills. Do we have any cloth? Yes, we do. All right, let's make a bandage. Oh, shit, there's a bear right there. And then we'll pop a pain pill. And we'll drink some water. And we have the, we have the water filter on our helmet. Right here, so we can we can drink uh, drink the dirty stuff and be fine. The advantage, of course, is that we can have a much larger stack of dirty water than we can clean water, which makes no sense whatsoever. It's one of those imposed limitations that the devs put on us with no logic behind it. <laughs> but anyway, that's the way it works, so... But with our water filter, we can just have a big old stack of dirty water and save space and not get sick by drinking it. Speaking of which, we could even fill up here with our current empty jars. And, uh... Let's put this back down here. 
All right. Off with his head. Anybody else? I hear somebody else somewhere. Oh, it's a Zeker in the water. There we go. Okay, what I was saying is, um... Let's have another delicious dirty water here. And then we'll take all the empty jars that we have and fill those up. And now we got a big old pile of dirty water and we freed up an inventory slot. Yay us. Okay, let's put our rifle back down here. Uh, how are we doing on food? One, we could stand to eat something. Let's... We chance of bacon and eggs? Yeah, let's do it. Ooh, don't get sick, don't get sick. Okay, <laughs> We're not getting sick, okay. So that'll get our stamina cap back and our food back up, and then we can pop one more water. Okay. Good to go. Good to go. Yeah, I mean, uh, our bike inventory is jam-packed, full of stuff, as you can see here. And then, um, you know, we only have six slots, so I'm just going to be ultra-conservative with the looting for now. Let's make sure all of our weapons are reloaded. That's bit us in the ass more times than I care to admit, I'll tell you what. Okay, all those are good. All right. Here we go. So, um, we are... We want to go this way. We can look off to the south from up here, and I don't see... anything. We will continue to hit bird's nest so we get more eggs and all that. Don't really need feathers, but... Definitely want to get the eggs. Okay, so I don't see anything out there that even closely resembles... In fact, I think that's the water right there. Anyway. So yeah, let's let's go this way. We need to go west. God damn it, we just finished dealing with you. Stupid piece of shit. Hate those things. Okay, we got an easy over there. How many points we got? Okay, we got one point. I'm I'm trying to remember what I was uh, going to do next point-wise. We'll have to look at that maybe t tonight when we hunker down. He keeps uh, shifting, so I, I try and wait for his head to get in, you know, to line up, but then he shifts his whole body. All right, let's go. I'm not going to loot the buzzards right now. Not a priority. Alright, so I see more buildings off in the distance there. Uh... Oh. I was gonna say, did we not just pass the bird's nest? But I don't see anything that looks like a... Oh, man. Okay, so we, we got one of these big crevasses here. We got 140 shoddy shells, so we're doing good. Here, let's give this guy a little something here. A little something something. Potato aim. Whoa, I thought I thought your head went off there. That's right. That'll work too. Um alright. Reload this. Everything else good? Yeah. All right, so um, let's get our hunting rifle back on here and use the scope. Not spotting anything that way.
Okay, well, let's keep on going. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my goodness, look how deep that thing is. Woo! <laughs> we don't want to fall down to that. Uh, looks like it ends right over here, though. Okay. Whew. That is one hell of a crack in the ground, man. I'll tell you what. You guys want to know what the definition of a crack in the ground is? That's it. Good lord. That thing goes almost all the way down to bedrock. Huh. Okay. Okay, we got another vulture that's going to come and pay us a visit. I hate it when they do that little bounce up and down thing. Can we get like, you know, maybe a hundred feet without getting attacked by a buzzard, please? Here comes another one. Okay, let's get out this way. Really? He's not coming towards us? Okay. Uh, Alright, this road goes northwest. That goes west. I think we should just keep going west. Because, you know, we're very close to the su southern end of the map. So we're, we're pretty much just going to stay... There, now he comes after me. We're pretty much just going to stay to the south here and go west. So that way we get the whole bottom, you know, su southern part of the map covered. Yeah, see, we're, we're like right on the coast. There's the water right there. Okay. Shut up. Leave me alone. Whoa. So, lots of POIs scattered up, up here and there, but... We've only found the one... You know, we've only found two t actual towns on this whole map, too. But that was by design. I told, you know, Terry to... To only make a few towns, but I told him to make big towns. Oh! Oh! Oh, look at that! Guys! That's a skyscraper! What? Huh? I think we just found the mega city, you guys. Hot damn! Yep, that's it. That... That's the Daishong. And it looks like, uh... Uh, the Higashi uh, Pharmaceutical Building, too. Oh, yes! Yes, 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 yes! Finally! It took us 43 episodes! But we finally found the city, you guys. Look at that. Oh, man. I'm excited now. <laughs> Big old city, here we come. Yeah, I see you, buzzard. Where'd you go? Oh. Leave me alone. Oh, man, that's awesome. All right, we finally found it, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's taking so damn long. Oh. Man, you were pissing me off. You two. And you three. Leave me alone, you guys. I'm trying to get to the city. You're so damn annoying. Okay, um... Looks like this road goes off that way, so I guess we're going to have to go across country again. Let's get our shoddy back out. Oh, this is awesome! So stoked that we finally found the city. We still need to find a green bomb too, but hey, at least we found the city now. Oh, ow! <laughs> at least we were moving forward, so we didn't take a hell of a lot of damage. We just took a little bit of damage. But we weren't going at full speed, either. That, uh, that little click, clickety-click sound that those mines make is, uh... It's kind of scary. And, and you know, it, it happens in, like, a split second, too. Oh, man, this is great! This is so cool. Finally found the city. So, um... I don't think, you know, I, I kind of toyed around with the idea of when, once we did find the city that we might just stay there instead, but I don't think we're going to do that. I think we're going to continue looking for the green bomb because I want to spend the end game of this series in the city. 
Oh man, this is amazing. Shotgun Messiahs, Poppin' Pills, Working Stiffs, and Bob's Cafe. What more could you ask for? <laughs> Look at this. Alright, we got, yeah, we got an old Higashi uh, Pharmaceutical. We got a Daishung. And, you know, remember what I said, too. This is a mega city. So, it's huge. If you guys have never seen the mega cities on the Nitrogen, you know, worlds, it's just, it's absolutely enormous. And we also set it up, too, to where, you know, the building's uh, blocks were, were close together instead of all spread out like they are in vanilla. Oh, man, look at this. Oh, shit. That scared me. <laughs> yeah, this place is huge. We're, we're going to have so much stuff to loot in this place. I'm just absolutely stoked right now. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad that we found it, too, on, on my first episode back after a month-long break. You know, for me, not for you guys, but for me. Whoa, I guess the road ends right there, doesn't it? There's the old Joe Bro building there. Oh man, look at look at all the skyscrapers. That is so cool. We're going to have multiple Daishong towers and multiple you know, uh, bookstore libraries of multiple Higashi buildings to loot. Plus, you know, all the smaller stuff. Whoa, shit. Two. We're going to take over this city, man. This is going to be our city. We're not taking no shit from any zombies. But... We're still going to, like I said, we're still going to be looking for the, um... Are you coming after me or not? We're still going to be looking for the green biome because I want to make sure that we're really, you know, prepared and decked out and ready to go. <laughs> Sucker. Um, you know, when we do come back here. So, so we're ready to just kick ass and take names. All oh, right, man. I'm so stoked, you guys. So stoked to find this place. Finally, it's taken us so long. I'm starting to even. <laughs> I'm starting to even to get a little bit concerned that maybe something broke on the map and <laughs> we didn't actually have a city. That would have been terrible. That would have been terrible. But no, we finally found it. Oh, so cool. There's another bookstore tower too. A uh, skyscraper and a cracker book. Oh, this is so neat. The resident zombie bear. Excuse me, sir, coming through. That's the uh, uh, the theater place there. Yeah, we'll you know when we come back here, when we're ready to come back here, you know we'll have, I'm um, we'll probably have the four x four at that point, if not the actual gyrocopter. Because I'm planning on doing the gyrocopter this time. You know, we have one on our multiplayer server, or had one. We don't, that server's actually not running anymore. And uh, it, it, was, it was actually nice to have. Um, so I'm planning on and actually, you know, doing the gyrocopter too. Oh, so cool. Okay, so, yeah, I guess we got to figure out what our plan is here. Look how big that place is, you guys. It looks like an actual city, doesn't it? Looks like an actual city. You know, we've I've had the you know these conversations before. Well, <laughs> more like a monologue, right? But I mean, you guys can always comment in the comments too, of course. But I just you know, there's some changes that Fun Pimps have made in this game that I just don't understand. There's been a lot of changes they've made that are awesome, too. You know, I'm not saying everything's bad, because overall, I do I do like where the game is now compared to where it was, you know, five years ago or whatever, but one of the things I, I didn't... Oh, shit. That I didn't like, and it started in Alpha 17, is the way they changed the towns and how they're so spread out now and so random and... You know, I miss the old days where you had a hub city and you had that city had buildings and blocks and it was like a real town. And it was dangerous AF to go to it too, especially in the early game because, you know, the zombie the the meaner zombies and so forth would spawn in that town. 
And um, I just, you know, I just miss that because because finding the hub city uh, or, you know, any big city in the old seven days to die was such such a cool thing because because then, you know, you know, you got to the place where you're going to finally start getting the good loot and all that. But it was also always a fight, though, too. I mean, it wasn't the game didn't hand it to you on a silver platter. You had to fight for it because that's where all the mean zombies were, like the cops and all that sort of thing. So I just I don't know. I miss that. And I don't like what they've done with with the, the cities, not necessarily the POIs. I like the new POIs and the dungeon crawls and all that. That part's cool. But just what they've done with the cities. I don't I don't like that. You know, and you got the little dinky cities in uh, in Navis game, right? You got uh, Gravestown and whatever the one is all the way in the southeast in the desert. And, it, you know, it's just a couple of small blocks with a couple, you know, two or three skyscrapers. And it doesn't make sense. You know, cities aren't like that. <laughs> so anyway, I really appreciate. Um, look at that. Two dice joints right next to each other. I really appreciate nitrogen and the fact that we can you know, bring those types of cities back and even and make them even more massive than they were, you know, uh, in, in the earlier versions of the game. This really is, in comparison, you know, to Vanilla, this really is a mega city. I mean, this place is huge. Look at all the skyscrapers that are around. So cool. So freaking cool. All right, well, guys, we are... We're getting about time to wrap things up here. So what I'm going to do... Let's cut down through here. I don't I, I don't think we're gonna stop here. Because I have no room for one thing. And um I think we should press on and continue looking for the green bomb, which is gonna be our actual home. At least, you know, for, for the next several episodes. And you know, the other thing too, keep in mind, I do realize, of course that this is a Wasteland Survival Series. So I'm not planning on... Um, I'm not planning on putting out a, a bunch of episodes in the Green Bomb. Now, we will do some, but, you know, I, I, I want to stay true to what this is about, and it's, it's about playing this game in the Wasteland. So I'm probably going to have a fair amount of off-camera time um, in the Green Bomb. At where I'm just gonna, you know, work on, you know, getting my character leveled, getting my gear uh, in tip-top condition, running uh, missions for the, you know, for the trader, and I, what I'll, what I think I will do is I'll just, I'll release a few update videos, like, you know, here's where we are now, and I did this and this and this and that, and this is my level and so on and so forth, um, you know, since the last time, and just do a few episodes in the Green Bomb like that, so that we can get back into the the wasteland as quickly as possible uh, in this series, okay? So that's kind of what the plan is. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think about that, though. I mean, if you want to see... You know, do you want to see everything that I do in the green biome? Or do you want to just, you know, see... You know, just have updates. That's really what it boils down to. Um, and we'll, we'll go from there. I just, You know, just let me know what you guys want. But just remember what this is. This is supposed to be a way... Oh, look, man, the old police station, too. Wow, cool. Uh, this is the Wasteland Survival Series, so it just doesn't make sense, really, for me to release, you know, 10, 20, 30 episodes of me in the Green Bomb getting ready to come back into the Wasteland Bomb, right? So it'll probably be less than 10, if even that many, to be honest with you. Man, this place is just massive. I love it. There's so many POIs to do. And we better, we better come, like, armed to the teeth when we come back here, though. Oh, it's going to be great, though. All right, guys. Well, um, let's take a quick look at our map first. Yeah, we... So this was pretty much the southern part of the city, and then we kind of worked our way up here. But look, just look how big this place is. And, you know, we have a lot more uh, that we haven't uncovered either. So, really cool, really cool. All right, guys. Well, I think we're going to wrap up this episode here. So, yeah, what I'm going to do... Is, what time is it? It's, it's still, like, 9.50 in the morning. we got lots of daytime left. Um... So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just keep, you know, looking for the green bomb. Looks like we might have a buzzard horde today. And uh, maybe we'll luck out and find it in the next episode. And when that happens, you know, then, then we can really start getting down to business here. Yeah, we definitely have a buzzard horde here. The thing is, is if, as soon as I get on my bike, they're going to just start rushing me.
There we go. So let's at least clear, you know, these buzzards out that are right in the immediate vicinity. Hurry, Harry's. Okay. Yeah. We're going to be like uh, Charlton Heston in Omega Man, or the the newer version of that movie. Uh, well, kind of loosely based on an I Am Legend with Will Smith. The sole survivor in a large city of zombies. Freaking awesome. <laughs> okay, guys. Well, I'm going to let you go here. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I'm excited to be back in the game. And, um, you know, uh, what, like I said, I, I'm not expecting or planning, I should say, to release daily videos, but I, I will try, you know, uh, to get out, you know, a few videos a week as we go. I've got a couple of other irons in the fire as well. Um, a lot of you know that I also play Imperion Galactic Survival, and, and pretty soon, well, you know, depending upon how, how things go in the world, of course, with what's going on, but pretty soon we're expecting Alpha 12 to come out. And so I, I'll, I'll definitely be shifting some of my focus to that as well. But we're going to definitely keep this series going, too. Um, I also have a big uh, ARC Survival in, uh, Evolved Endeavor going, which I'm not doing YouTubes on, because ARC, ARC for me, is, is kind of a hard game to do, uh, you know, a regular YouTube series on it. I, I live stream it more than, you know, I would do YouTube. But uh, just to give you a little bit of an, uh, of an idea of what's going on with that, is uh, I started a server... Uh, with a few other people on the Discord. Can't hit the doggone side of a barn, can I? She's feral. There we go. And so basically what we're doing is we're going through the entire arc saga from start to finish. So we're on the island right now. And our plan is to go through and do all the bosses, do the ascensions, uh, get all the explorer notes, and actually go through the story and learn, you know, learn the story. I kind of know a little bit of what it's about, but, you know, I want to actually experience that myself. And then we're going to move on to Scorched Earth and do the Manticore. Then we're going to move on to Apparition and fight Rockwell. And then we're going to move on to, um, what the hell is it called? Extinction. The two of the Titans and then end up in Genesis, which was just recently released. And I am not playing... Uh, Arc Genesis right now because I want to experience it after going through the story and that and that's going to be a several month Endeavor for us to get through so you know, so I'm spending quite a bit of my time doing that too But again, don't worry. That doesn't mean I'm not going to do seven days to die anymore uh, I will keep the series going. I'm very much enjoying, you know, this wasteland survival series It's just not going to be every single day So expect, you know, two to three videos maybe a week moving forward and we'll just kind of see how things go. Okay anyways guys I was supposed to leave you a long time ago, but I keep blabbing, right? <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.